welcome to uh, this week's episode of Grunt Goblin Gills Outdoors. Uh, we got a real cool show this week for you. First off, we're going to have a hunt with uh, Lewis Edens. He, here in West Virginia, kills a nice buck with his bow. Lewis has hunted real hard this year, passed a lot of good deer, um, self-filmed hunt, and he gets it done, and I'm real, I'm real proud of Lewis for sticking it out and, and uh, producing some good footage for us. Then after Lewis's hunt, we'll go to a segment with uh, Brandon Abbott. He worked a check station with the DNR the first day of rifle season here in West Virginia. And uh, they age deer by their teeth. They check them for disease. They weigh them. They score them. Um, and he did an interview with a DNR biologist there. So that'll be a really cool segment you can learn a lot from. And then after that, we're going to go to a hunt with me and rifle, rifle hunt on uh, my farm in Calhoun where I killed this buck right here so uh, check it out hope y'all enjoy this week's show well today's November 17th it's about 26 degrees this morning I got in here a little bit after daylight already see it real well. Um, from where I parked the truck to this stand right here, it's 1.2 miles. So it takes a little while to get in here. Gotta, gotta carry a lot of stuff. But I come down in here this morning and I'm in a big saddle in here. Got a big long ridge that runs this way. Big power line thicket right over here. Big long ridge runs up this way. I got in there this morning. Got all my stuff situated down there. I started climbing up the tree. And I heard something over here on this point right here. And uh, I seen a six point coming down through here. So uh, I just left my stuff at the bottom of the tree. I wasn't no shooter buck so he, he milled around up there fed around for a little bit then I seen another body coming down through here and that was a mid 130s 10 point real good deer but he angled off and walked right down the ridge over here just out of range I didn't have anything up here with me anyway wasn't much I could do set in here and hopefully I can catch a mature buck on his feet looking for some of these does that haven't been bred yet we'll see stay tuned
B A November 17th, I got in here about uh, 30 minutes after daylight, running, running a little late this morning, uh, probably about 65 yards down the hill right there, and I was climbing up my stand this morning, I had a six point right here, probably 10 yards from where we are right now, come milling out right there, and I seen a mid-130s 10 point behind me. He worked around and went right right out this flat right here. Uh, just out of bow range and too thick in here really to, to take a shot. Um, about 12.30 today, uh, I had a nine point come through. And then uh, I seen a four point. And then uh, about 3.30, I was watching this doe she come out of the uh, right away there, and I was watching her mill around and everything, just getting some footage of her, just filming, getting used to the camera set up and everything like that. And uh, this guy right here come running out of the right away. Uh, happened real quick. I seen one side. I, uh, I thought he was a little better than what he was. Uh, he's not bad. Uh, I'll be glad to put my tag on it. It's probably be the only buck I kill this year. Um, which I'm, I'm fine with that. I got my first kill on video, and that's all. It's, that's all it's about right there. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time.